Welcome to the Business Behind the Scene podcast with Francesca Moy, where we talk all about real business problems, real solutions, and getting actual results in your business. Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 77 of this Business Behind the Scene podcast. I am beyond excited of what's going on in my business right now. I have decided to um, scale up my knowledge on online marketing and I decided to sign up with some really cool people from the US that are doing some amazing stuff. And the reason why I've decided to do that is because I teach my clients, you got to invest, you got to invest in yourself. And so every year I choose to invest in something. I choose to invest into a course that is going to upskill my knowledge into anything that I choose to do in my business, in my life, in everything I do. So last year I invested about $30,000 into a life coaching certification to be able to help and support my clients to the next level mindset wise. And because of that, I created a certification program for my own Mafia Academy. I got 10 people through and certified 10 people in the Mafia. Now some of those people are working for me um, and coaching my clients. So that's just amazing how I have worked out how to sign up to something and then make the most out of it and make my money back in some sort of ways. And so definitely I make my money back from that because I created a certification program that already in within, you know, three months from the moment I signed up made me about $100,000. But now it's going to be an ongoing, right? Every year we're going to do this certification course and we're going to be able to get more people through it and so on. So that is what I did last year. This year we invested a little bit more, so it's about 35,000 US Australians and I already see how this is going to be able to take my business to the next level and then therefore I'll be able to take my clients to the next level as well. So it's about understanding what and how make the most out of something. Now, the difference, what's really been really fascinating is that the difference between this course and the other course. So the course that I did with the certification, the life coaching, the person that runs it doesn't believe in social media, doesn't want to be in social media. So there is no community in that group, right? So there is no a Facebook group. There is no a place where people can reach out and get to know each other. Instead, this course, there is lots of um, there's a group, there's a couple of groups where you get to be part of and in that group you get to, um, you know, get to know other people, get to stand out. So one of the things that I'm really good at is that sign up to a course and my goal is how can I get the organizer to see me, to see me, to talk to me, to, to watch me to know that I'm going to be the best success story in there so that I get interviewed, which means more exposure, more business for me. So I always, when I sign up to courses like that, I think I want to be the best client. I want to be the client that does it all, the client that tells them what to do and I'll go and do it and I get results and I give you a testimonial and I'll help you to get more people. I want to be that client that won't whinge and complain but at the same time will give feedback and, and you know help improve the, the business. So I want to be that client because I would love a client like that. So whenever I sign up to something, I think about what can I do to be the best client ever? How can I support them to to improve their business and the the um, the courses without whinging and complaining, but actually from a from a productive, uh, you know, from a, a really productive um, feedback? Um, and then I go, okay, all of this stuff, all of this material is there for me to watch. How long is it going to take me? And then I created this amazing table of <laughs> on my. Um, on my, you know, Excel, well, actually a Word document where I put all these tables and I put all these like columns. So going, okay, what's a module? What video is how the module and who watched it and um, who I want to watch it. So not everybody in my team is going to be watching everything because time is money, right? So I'm watching everything and I'm delegating. Okay, you need to watch this. You are content writing. You need to watch this. You are um, managing the people, the salespeople. You need to watch this, right? So I've got all these different videos that I've got in there and I have told my team what to do, what to watch, then I'll also do the homework and then I'll put in there what's done and what I need my team to do. So I did that yesterday and I felt so productive and then I thought, why people don't do this? Why people join programs and then they wait until they get, you know, 
fed, like literally with a spoon fed. I don't do that. I just go, give me access and I go through everything and I'll make myself a, a little plan on how to go through everything. And I've got like, you know, this morning I couldn't get in and I'm like, no, I haven't to watch two videos during breakfast. So I've got like all these different strategies for me to go through it. I want to go through everything. So then I can do my, my first promotional um, model in the first week of June. And to be able to do that, I need to get myself together now so that I can have the whole picture and then I can go in and launch it. So it's really interesting how I've been watching myself first get overwhelmed and go like, oh shit, all these videos, I'm already fully booked. When am I going to find time to watch them? And I was like, my weekend is sacred. I don't want to work in the weekend. And then I thought, you know what? This is just a period of time. You gotta watch this, you gotta study this, you're gonna spend a couple of weekends studying, but then you're gonna have and take your business to the next level, which means you're gonna have even more lifestyle than before. So get over yourself, Francesca, and let's go. So I literally had to have a conversation with myself because I also don't want to um, work in the weekends and I also don't wanna um, watch videos and sit my butt in there. But yesterday I did, I, I literally spent from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m watching videos and studying and doing the homework and you know do that table that I told you about and just like making sure that everything was planned everything is in place and now I'm gonna give myself another week and Saturday I will be finishing uh, all of this um, first course and then I'm gonna start the second course in June so then I've got another uh, couple of weeks to watch all of that and then I will get all the um, extra coaching right so that I can jump on the calls and get the coaching and all of that but the thing is this is the other thing right I've been watching these guys for about uh, about six months now and I've been implementing some of the strategies that they give us for free and I was getting results I made about fifteen thousand dollars from that strategy which is good but listen it's not everything right so so now that I'm in and I see all the back end it's gonna fast forward my success even more so not that my business it's already on 1.5 million right so my goal is to was to get it to 2 million and then COVID happened and we went back a little bit to 1 million so we lost about 500,000 in revenue but we also lost like reduced our expenses of about 600,000 so we're still on higher profit than before so I'm really good really happy with that and so it's like, okay, well then what's next? What are we going to do? What, what is going to happen um, now? So I, I don't want to try to figure out. And I, I literally was looking at what my emotions were before I was buying. And there was this fear of what if it doesn't work out? Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is legit what my clients go through when they're about to sign up to a course. They're thinking like, what, what if it doesn't work out? And then I'll have to ask myself the question that I ask my clients, which is what if it does? What if it does? And who is who is in charge of making it work or not? It's not the strategy. It's me, my team. We need to make it work. We need to be committed to do everything it takes to make this work. So I trust me. I trust me and I know that if I want to do something, I will. And if I don't want to do it, I won't. But then there was nobody else to blame but myself. So what I found that a lot of people that are about to join in courses or they want to join in courses, they don't trust themselves. They don't have that relationship with themselves or going, you know what? I trust you. And when you want to do something, geez, you do it. Like no, nothing can stop you. I know that nothing can stop me. If I want to do something, I'll make it happen. So how can you build that relationship with yourself that you trust you that if you do something, you'll do it properly? The other thing about I love about joining other people's courses is that I can, it validates how much value we're giving in my academy. And I go, oh my gosh, like we legit take things to a whole new level in the Mafia Academy. And when I join other courses like that and I pay things like $35,000 and I go, I charge half of that and I give 10 times the value that it's in there. Now, I honestly love joining other courses because I can see what else maybe my course miss and I can always improve it. There's always space for improvement. And I also can see how their course has got some gaps and how they could improve it. There are things that we already implemented in our business. So I really love 
going inside of these courses, not just for the learning side, but also from how they structure some of the things and how they put things in place. And and I have um I've done this a few times. This is a little secret that I've got between you and I. I sort of um, ask the question without being rude or upset or whatever. I ask the question like, what if I want to get a found? What if I um, don't want to commit? What if I want to pull out? What is going to happen if... So I ask those questions so that I can learn what other companies are doing so that I can see, hey, is it time to update my structure, my procedures, my backend, because maybe it's old school. Maybe I set it all up five years ago and now times have changed and I need to be more flexible or I need to be stricter or I need to be um, more compassionate or I need to be less gentle, less um, uh, generous, right? So really, it gives me a little bit of perspective of what the companies are doing from the inside rather than watching from the outside. And I've seen so many people, because I also, so I, my, my Mafia Academy is for coaches and experts, right? So there is lots of marketing coaches and business coaches that don't want to sign up to Mafia Academy because they're afraid of, I don't want to copy you. I don't want to do um, things that are not allowed. And that's why I create a certification for people that are joining the Mafia Academy and they want to teach this strategy to other people. I want to make sure that they get access to the templates, they get access to the things that I um, I give them so that they don't have to reinvent the wheel to what to teach to their clients, which it will actually create a disservice because it's like, you know, when you're whispering something in someone's ear on the other side, it will just like come out something completely different. So I don't want my certified coaches to do that. I want them to have access to my templates so that their the clients can be as successful as my clients are. So I love this week. I feel alive again. I feel like excited and, um, you know, like Christmas day, like the anticipation of, of you know, what's going to happen when I implement all these strategies and, and the excitement of, you know, what's going to happen on the other side. And, and if a lot of people have asked me, why Francesca, have you signed up? You teach this stuff. And I said, I don't know. But the thing is, I always teach them, right? I'm an expert. Yes in compared to people that have no idea about social media. But I'm also not an expert in comparison with people that are making 500,000 a month from social media. So I know there is way for me to improve, that I know there is ways that I can learn. And I love that. I would, I would hate to be at the top because I could never lean on anyone else to learn and grow. And if I don't grow, I know I get depressed. I know I get demotivated. I know that I can't stand not growing. So for me, it's one of my biggest value would be able to grow. So I am proud of not being the number one expert in the world in social media marketing. I, ha I happily sign up with other people to see what they're doing and learn from them. The other thing that I am not an expert in is content writing for emails. I'm not very good at that. I have really never um, never monetize them. I have signed up with someone last couple of weeks that helps me with email marketing and we got our first sale. Yay. Uh, from emails, which we, we never did. Like we obviously got people from that, from the emails into our workshop. We know how to do that. We know how to sell tickets from that, but we have never really converted into, um, into a course without people having to talk to us. So that was really exciting to be able to see that the the email marketing I can also improve that strategy so I can tell you 2021 is gonna be amazing the the financial year so in Australia we have a financial year starting in July so I'm doing all of this now to be able to um, have myself sorted and started for July and have that financial year being the best financial year yet to date. Um, COVID did hit our business quite hard because obviously, as you guys know, I used to run national tours and used to run events face-to-face. -face. I used to um, have lots of people. I was watching last night a couple of videos of how those events were and those rooms, they were like 50, 60, 30, sometimes 40, but never less than 30 people in two rooms. And it was just like so fulfilling like heart soul my my soul would be like so fulfilled at the end of those events and i missed them and i've missed them a lot at the point that i felt disconnected from my own business disconnected from my own audience even though I have to say, I'm very proud of us. I did make the online strategy work. We did, we did stay afloat. We did 
make money. We did get clients. We did get, um, you know, turn things around. We, it's, it wasn't a disaster. But the thing is, I've always, every single year, I've improved the business of between 30 to 66% every single year. And this is the first year that we went backwards. We didn't, not only we didn't have an improvement, but we didn't also um, reach the same number that we used to. So we're not that much back, but um, as, I, as you know, as I told you, um, you know, usually we have 30 to 66% increase in the business, or well, actually um, even more one at the beginning was even more. So um, I was expecting, you know, to make a list with, with COVID, at least the, the same amount, but we didn't. Um, and that's where it's a pity because we didn't impact as many people as we could have. And this is what hurts me the most, that I know that we can have as many people as possible in our academy, which means as many collaborations and connections and networking opportunity and speaking opportunity for everybody because the Mafia Academy biggest, biggest reward is that for everybody to get a speaking gig with each other, which is priceless. So the fact that I didn't get as many people, it means that also the clients are going to get less people to collaborate with. So it's my mission to make the Mafia Academy the number one best course in the whole world for coaches where they want to go one to many, they want to work out how to sell online programs, they want to work out how to run a workshop and sell from a workshop, I can show them how to do that, which is um, what we've done for the last six years of this business and how we grew that business so high. So. Today's podcast is pretty much about showing you how to be disciplined when you are going to someone else's program and, and what what are you going to do to make sure that you take responsibility and really get yourself a plan in place and not blaming anybody else and like have excitement. And, and if you find errors or mistakes or whatever, just let the, the person that runs the thing know without being upset or, or feeling ripped off or feeling like, I, I've, I've heard these words where someone saying, I'm feeling ripped off. And it's like, well, you, you rip yourself off. Like you, you sign up to a course and you don't make your money back. You are the one to blame. You are the one to, to point the fingers to. There's nobody else that can do it for you, right? This is not a done for your services. We show you the way you need to work out your way. You need to work out what works for your business. We're going to give you the sample. We're going to give you what works in general. And then you need to tweak and measure and test and go out there and find what works for you. So this is for me to show you guys that I even do that. I walk my talk. I tell people to invest in the business. I am investing in my business. I'm stretching myself to be able to, to show people that if you don't back yourself, if you don't trust yourself, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will do it for you. So it's been a real, 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 real um, le lesson for me. Um, it's been incredible to be able to um, learn how how people feel and, and feel the emotions of scarcity and, and fear and what if it doesn't work and all of that was happening in my brain, but I chose not to listen to those voices and I chose to lean into the unknown to take a leap of faith. For me, it's not that I don't, I don't trust them, right? I don't need to trust them. When people tell me, Francesca, I stand up to the mafia, I trust you. I said, don't. Don't trust me. There's nothing to do with me, you know? Nothing to do with me. You gotta trust you. You gotta trust that you're gonna do it. You're gonna trust that you're gonna take action. You're gonna trust that you are gonna follow through when things get tough. You're gonna trust that you're gonna stand back up when you fail. You're gonna trust that you're gonna have your own back. You're gonna trust that when you make a mistake, you're gonna be gentle with yourself. You're gonna trust you first and foremost, my friends. You can't trust me or whoever you're signing up with because that's irrelevant. It's irrelevant if I trust these guys or not. It's irrelevant. All I need to do is to get the course, get the material, get my bum into the chair and watch those ballet videos and make them happen. And then go back into a coaching and ask for questions if I have any. That's it. It's my full responsibility. And I take it and I am excited. And I can I can tell you how many people uh, come to me and they say, Francesca, I really want to do this, but I've been burned out before. Have you? Why, why did you burn yourself out? <laughs> And they're like, no, 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 I did this course and they didn't promise. I'm like, they didn't stay, stick to the promise. I'm like, are you sure? Or did they stick to the promise? But your expectation was that they're going to do it for you. And they didn't. Did they promise what they promised and deliver on the promise? And you had expectation went beyond what they actually promised. I honestly really believe that people run a course to screw people over. I don't believe that. I'm sorry. 
I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe there is someone out there in the world that purposely want to charge people money and not give value. I don't believe that. I believe that everybody that is running a course wants to truly help people wants to help them to the next level. And then yes, there is some courses that over deliver and give so much value like the Mafia Academy. Uh, the other day, one of my clients said, Francesca, can I be honest with you? And I said, yeah, of course. You should charge at least 30K for this workshop. Why are you charging so little? Why, do you, why are you undervaluing yourself? And I said, look, I'm not undervaluing myself. I just know what my mission is. My mission is to help as many coaches as possible. And I know that at the, when, when coaches are mute, uh, mutating or tra transferring from a one-on-one -on -one model to a one-to-many model, the cash is tight. Because if they keep doing the one-on-one -on -one sessions, they're not gonna have time to go one-to-many. So they need to slow down on a one-on-one -on -one session. So the cash flow is tight. So I understand that. So I'm willing to put my prices a little bit down because I know that once they're in community, they stay in the community, they stay in the academy. My clients stay one from the first year, they they, they all, literally 90% of my clients stay a second year. And then about um, of those, about 60% of those will stay a third year and so on. So we have a long retainer, like people stay with us for so long and I'm so proud of it. So this is why I can um, charge a little bit less the first year because I want people to stay. I want people to stay, to enjoy, uh, to, to, to take this, the bite into what we teach them and just keep biting and just chipping away all the learnings. There is so much content in the Mafia Academy that you probably won't be able to go through in 12 months because we help people go from invisible to invincible. So we help people going from a, a place of, um, you know, not having a, a following on social media that wants to go to the workshops to start to have 10, 15 people going to the workshops. And then they need the next level. They need, how do I scale from here? Right. And that's where we have other programs like the 500k club. Once they've reached 100k, they can apply for that. We've got the abundance circle that helps them with the mindset. Uh, we've got all different things available for clients to go to the next level and they're not ready to jump on those courses the first year, right? So that's why they stay for another year. And the second year, they are able to invest into other things because of my second year of Mafia Academy, it's incredibly cheap. And the reason why I do that is because it's a marketing strategy, right? It costs so much to retain a new client. So it costs about 2,500 to get a new client from, you know, time, money, and, and all everything spent together. So if I let them go every year, I'm losing 2,500. Instead, because I'm keeping them for another year or two, not only I'm making that 2,500 back from my retainer fee, from my renewal fee, but also I then get more people to stay and they always buy more. So it's just a matter of understanding the bigger vision and align yourself with that. So my goal is not to make money up front from people, is to get people at results so they want to stay two years, three years, four years with us. And that's what the Mafia Academy is for. And I'm so beyond proud of what we created and I wouldn't change it for anything. I'll only improve it all the time. So my friend, I hope that you find this podcast valuable. If you did, please send us an email or put a review. I love, love, love to hear your thoughts about this podcast. And if you have any questions, put them into the re review or send me an email uh, so that we can help you guys and answer the questions that you have. If you haven't joined our Workshop Secret for Coaches Facebook group, it's going crazy. We just, just about to reach 10,000 people, which is incredible. Um, so if you haven't joined yet, don't wait. It's a free community where I give you so much free value. Um, and then from there, you can choose if you want to jump on a game changer call and join my academy, which will be mind blowing for you. So if you're a coach and you want to take things to the next level, check it out. You're going to love it. All right, my friends, have a fantastic week. I wanted to also celebrate my uh, book camp. We finished a book camp to scale last week with uh, over 38 people from all over the country and the world. We have one of our uh, students from Netherlands, which was incredible. Um, he was literally up all night to stay uh, tuned with what we were teaching. Um, we went through so much in the Book Camp to Scale and we do stuff. We don't just teach, we give you time to do it. So uh, when I look at the feedback forms, we are all fives and a couple of fours and a couple of three um, out of five, which is still really good. So about 95% were fives, which I am beyond, beyond, beyond excited. So 
I wanted to, um, you know, give a shout out to all my clients that did stay for three days, 12 hour days with us. And they all said, wow, I can't believe how easy this was, how much I've got down, how much results I've got already. We have mapped out all the programs, all the high ticket items, um, the table of value. We have reverse engineered the funnel. So now they know exactly how many people they need each month into their programs. Um, and we show them how to get those people into the program. We teach them what to teach at each level of the funnel. It just, ah, uh, the amount of value that we give in that will come to scale you beyond, beyond excitement. So anyway, you guys, I'll see you inside of Workshop Secret for Coaches, and that is your first step to start working with us. All right, have a fantastic day, everybody. See you next week. Hey, if you enjoy listening to this podcast, then you have to come to check out our Facebook group, Workshop Secrets for Coaches. It's a community of over 9,500 coaches that are ready to boom their business by running workshops. They are stuck in one-on-one coaching and they're ready to start to go one-to-many. So if you are one of those coaches, then you have to join us. I look forward to see you there. And hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave me a review to win a ticket to one of my workshops. I look forward to see you there.